and welcome back to this any percent tutorial for head on we are now going to finally take on blood right so to start select the episode select easy and your timer is going to start when you hit yes so immediately when you drop in do this Platforming section, wait for this bolt mag to spawn. You need the ammo for it. Hop up and just follow this path around. Get the cry lance because it is the only one that we encounter in the speed run. Very important weapon. And then once you have that in hand, do your jump throws. Uh, I might as well show this off. There is a way it is possible to jump up on this tree, but it is wildly inconsistent. Uh, if you do want to do that, go for it, and then you can get up there and sequence break having to go through up here and around. But yeah, uh, have fun resetting constantly on that. So you can... Again, throw the axe past the weapon so that whenever you pick it up, you can immediately switch back once you pick up the axe again. Then we come along here. Grab the withered vine key. Pick up this bolt mag, we need it. And there's a healing vial. Now the first really annoying part of the speed run. Come outside the broken window, get the attention of the urchins. And wait for them to come through. Oh, we got him quick. Okay. Really good that, that was we could show that off. That's how it would be that that would be optimal right there. Um those things can be quite a pain and you'll reset a lot on them. They'll bump into things and blow up each other. Uh fortunately for the tutorial, we were able to get it uh, right away. Oops, that's the wrong key. So, um, yeah. Pick up the hell claws, because we need the mine. And then as soon as you uh, deactivate the, the spell from this book, it's going to be on a timer. So run and get your ammo, switch to the hell claw, set down your mines, kill all the Cerberi, and... Then swap over to your Krylance. Kill the, the uh, Pit Lord. You don't need to kill everything, but uh, this is on a timer. And then now, you're gonna back yourself into this corner and try to... Me, personally, I like to just go forward like straight at it instead of strafe jumping. Strafe jumping can be a little difficult. I, I, I think you have enough speed just going straight on to it. And then when you get up there, you're gonna jump to this, uh, on top of this gray, this dark gray section of the bricks. Like that. And then, uh, you don't wanna be too close to this cause it, uh, you can't make it the jump this way. You have to jump to this, but you're if you're too close, you won't make it. So do sort of a strafe jump if you watch my input display. And then stick to the awnings, uh, jump to the green, then to the blue, and then to this planter right here. And then we're going to jump to the clothesline and grab the sledgehammer so that we can then come back. Uh, grabbing that ammo along the way. Just getting them out of the way. And then come through the secret area. We need this in order to sequence break. And then just come back out. There's usually that pit lord right there. Just dodge him. And then do crush bow jump. And just wait to fall down into uh, the level transition to mansion. And that's it. 
ideally you want to get around a below three minutes is a really good time for deep chill. So skip that intermission, and then you have a, a moment where you have to wait before you can stand again and gain control. But as soon as you do, you see the crosshair on screen. Turn around and activate this gate. And there's a little bit of time so you can kill some things, uh, top yourself off with all these potions. Yeah, that it has to be below half before you can actually make that jump. So, uh, and then for this, jump to about here and then crouch, pick up the potion launcher, and then I like to immediately switch to the crush mode to take out the brambles, thorns, whatever you want to call them. Jump throw your way along here. Crush bow jump up. Now our first key item is going to be the side shroom. Then come along to the right side, and you can optionally go around or you can crush bow jump to get up a little bit early. Come up to this dumb waiter, activate it, and ride it up. Now we're gonna get our withered vine key, or no, I'm sorry, the copper key. When brain is still stuck on the previous level. Once we reach the bottom, the elevator stops. Get the stuff underneath. And, and through these the uh, barracks here get the body gym and then jump over here and shoot around there helps clear out all those cultists for you they are kind of a nuisance uh, you can optionally shoot the pit lord as well make sure to hit it uh, with a direct hit so that'll kill it instantly Oops. Where did my axe go? There you are. We'll just get these out of the way. Now drop down, and then behind the staircase, there's the Choker of the Beast. It's very important to keep stuff off of you uh, during one segment of the level. So make your way on down here. You can bump into that to get uh, the vial and the little bit of healing, and then you can Heal up and pick up that vial as well. Get our gold key. Then come up this way. Dodge and hit all the enemies in your way. Pick up the password scroll. Watch out for the the pit lord. If you get close, if you get a melee range, he'll do that yell attack, push you back, and do some damage. Now we are going to go to the casino through the gold door. Okay. Fire at the red crystal. Now do... Wait, let's wait till it stops shaking the screen. Do note that this can sometimes bug out where the explosion will not happen, no matter what you shoot it with. And at that point, you just might as well start over. Uh, it sucks, but... Something you gotta deal with. Now, when you come into here where the um, shadow gem is, you're gonna sort of strafe into it and then back up, and you'll pick it up. You can't look at it. That's that's the whole gimmick behind that puzzle there. And I'm just clearing this out. We don't really need it. Um, get the body gem. And now with the proper ingredients, we can then come back to this area, head up the steps, drop these in. And then while you wait on that, you can heal up, pick up these vials. And then you can jump and crouch and kind of nudge forward and you'll pick, be able to pick it up before it completely raises. Right. 
gonna head back through the copper door grab that off the shelf and then head through here and this we can open up a shortcut now we head down with our password scroll we activate that door Go up to the harp, the uh, scroll on the floor there, activate that. Uh, you can optionally grab the vial and the, the haste. Now, I like to jump on this plank here just to get to that vial in case I need it. Uh, open up this shortcut. Now we're going to deactivate our first of the uh, runes. Gonna head up and cut through here over the railing. And once you get up through this door is where I start to activate the uh, choker of the beast because this area can be kind of dangerous and it'll help keep things off of you. Activate the harp, so de deactivate that. Head back this way. Through this door and then immediately to the left. And thankfully this guy was kind enough to open it for us. Head under here. Crush bow jump. Oops. That should only take you one, but I didn't quite land where I would like. Deactivate the book. Grab the crystal. Get back through here. You can optionally uh, crush bow jump over. Head through here, and then withered uh, vine door again. Fresh bow jump. Now uh, throw this down and you can optionally come through here and heal up if you need it. Okay. As soon as you open this door, activate a time chart because shield maidens are annoying to get past so we just freeze them in place. Just follow this along. Drop down. We're heading through here again. Now we just keep heading to the exit. Use this potion if we need it. The gate will start to lower. Watch out for all the pit lords. Be mindful that you can still die here, and that will make you. That'll make you essentially pistol start the next level or. Fist start the next level, I suppose. It's a doom thing. But uh, you don't actually die. Or you don't stay dead, but it's still kind of bad because you lose your crush bow and everything. So uh, you might have to restart. Once you're done here with after the fade out, skip the briefing, get your journal. Uh, if, you, if you need to head through here and there's a whole bunch of potions for you. And now we're going to skip this entire hub. So jump over, do your axe throws and then head off to not that way. Do not head that way Head the middle pass path. Now I'm just clearing out everything because I need to explain something very important. I am playing on... Let's see, is it displayed here anywhere on the screen? It does not. I'm playing on patch 2.1.1. Now, normally, you have to do all the events of the hub before the there is a... I think a fixer, a, a goblin, standing here, and then there's a plunger that sets off the explosion to open up this. But if you're playing on this patch, it's already here, only it's invisible. So aim around here and you hear it go off right there. Now head through. Time stop and then you'll probably want to have your cry lance out for this. 
Watch out for that pit lord. He can't die. He teleports away. And then you can switch to your... Eventually he, he goes away. And this part's gonna be on a timer. So kill yourself up. Kill whatever gets in your way. Head through here and then come this way. There's an elemental ring there. And before it fades out completely, grab that time shard. And that's it. That is the first two levels and the entire first hub skipped entirely. We will see you in the next video for Port to Hell. And the patch that you need to run on will be on speedrun.com if you need that. Anyway, until next time, thank you for checking out this speedrun and I hope to see you in the next video.